This is one of the coolest new mics I've seen in a while. So this is the Dr. Alien Smith Alien 8 Dynamic Microphone. It's mostly designed to be a kick drum mic and what makes it special is that it's got two capsules inside of it built around headphone drivers. They're both the same capsule, so on top it's facing forward, on bottom it's facing backwards. So on the front of the capsule it gets a little bit more of a brighter sound, more attack. So if you're doing heavier rock music or metal, you'll probably kind of gravitate towards that one. Bottom capsule is a little more, I guess you could say, vintage sounding. Um, it's darker, a little fluffier, uh, rounded off low end. So. You can start out in the super setting in the middle where you're actually combining both capsules. So best of both worlds, really big kick sound. If you're finding you need a little bit more attack or you need to clean up the low end, you can switch to the top capsule. If it's the opposite, you're getting a little bit too much attack and you more, want more oomph, go to the bottom capsule. So lots of really cool options on this thing. So we're gonna try it on a bunch of drums, obviously. I'll put it on electric guitar and then at the end we'll just try some weird stuff. So. Let's start out on my standard kind of Gretsch kick with the 22 inch kick drum. So a lot of people like to have kind of what they call like a crotch mic where it's kind of positioned right above the kick um, towards the kick pedal and between the two toms. So we're going to throw it in that position and see how this sounds and I'll probably make it sounding a little bit more lo-fi sounding with a little bit of distortion, maybe even some delay. So let's take a listen to that. So now we're going to move to my really big old vintage Slingerland kick that's 30 inches. It's a monster. It's a beast. Um, it's got a lot of low end, but I, what I really like about that drum is the attack. It's really unique, especially when you have the heads a bit loose. So take a listen to that next.
All right, moving on to electric guitar. I'm going to have two different electric guitar sounds. The first one, it's going to be a little bit of a darker, muddier tone where I'm playing really lightly with my fingers. So we'll run through all three capsule options, but what I would probably do on this kind of sound is set it to um, the top capsule since it's brighter. Again, it's a muddier sound, so it probably needs... We need a mic that's going to clean up the low end and bring out a little bit of brightness. So for the second electric guitar tone, it's a little bit opposite. I went down to the bridge position on my electric. I'm playing with a pick now. It's a brighter sound. So again, we'll run through all three, but I would probably lean towards the bottom capsule to kind of round out that harsh high end and just give me a little bit more of a boost in the low end. So if you watch my other videos, you know I'm really into kind of doing experiment days and trying weird things. Um, I would count this one as a failed experiment as far as fitting it into the song, but I'll play it for you anyway. These are actually figure eight capsules, um, so it's really similar to like a ribbon microphone where it's picking up front, back, and nulling out your sides. I put it on my acoustic guitar on the front of the capsule. On the back, I've got an electric guitar amp. I'm going line in for my acoustic into the amp and I've got a little bit of distortion and then some delay on that electric sound. So I thought it might be a cool lo-fi sound. I don't think I can fit it into the song, but we'll, we'll play it anyway, see what you think. So that's a pretty good overview. I think by this point, you've got a good idea of how the mic sounds. Um, the last thing I want to do is uh, just do vocals on it. For this vocal sound, I want to make it really lo-fi and weird, a little bit of distortion, a little bit of delay. So you'll hear a little bit of just the song mixed roughly with the vocals in there. You'll get to see me make a complete idiot of myself. So enjoy. Oh 
Yeah. 